Welcome back to Vinny's Aquatics. Thank you everybody for joining me. I hope you're having a great day. What are we gonna talk about today? We're gonna talk about Wi-Fi. Can Wi-Fi harm your fish? And what do your fish tanks do to your Wi-Fi signal? So, let's take a look. So what is Wi-Fi? You all probably have it. Well, very simply, Wi-Fi is a computer's wireless adapter it translates data into a radio signal and it easily transmits it using an antenna after that a wireless router receives the signal and it decodes it the router is also there to send information to the internet using a wired ethernet connection the year was 1971 one year after my birth it was the University of Hawaii that completed the first wireless data packet transfer ever attempted without a satellite or connected cables. Um, it was called Ultra High Frequency Radio Waves, UHF, and they used it to successfully connect seven computers spread across different Hawaiian islands. But Wi-Fi, it's been around a long time. They say that in 1900, Nikola Tesla actually was going to prove Wi-Fi worked to everybody, but... After he built up his first tower, he actually ran out of money, ran out of funding to be able to do it. So all the way back in 1900, the genius Nikola Tesla was already well aware of Wi-Fi. All right, so a couple of days ago, I got a new internet provider and they put new Wi-Fi in my house. So me trying to be a smart ass, I said the password is, hack me if you can. The next day, I got a response. It's a challenge accepted. All right, besides that, what do you guys think? I think having a smoking section in a restaurant is just like having a peeing section in the pool. <laughs> Leave a comment down below. All right, let's get right to it. What are the effects of Wi-Fi? Well, it says here on the internet, you know, if it's on the internet, it's gotta be true. Wi-Fi sends data via electromagnetic radiation. You hear that word? Radiation. It's a type of energy. Now this radiation creates areas called electromagnetic fields, which are known as EMFs. There's a concern that the radiation from Wi-Fi causes health issues like cancer. But in big bold letters, it says there are currently no known health risks in humans. <coughs> yeah, bullshit, bullshit. Anyway, let's see what else it says. So after a simple search, this is what I found. Wi-Fi, repeated Wi-Fi studies show that Wi-Fi causes oxidative stress. Guys, listen, sperm and testicular damage, neuropsychiatric effects, including EEG changes, apoptosis, cellular, one more time, cellular DNA damage, endocrine changes, and calcium overload. But that all sounds great to me, right? I mean, they did say this doesn't harm humans at all. But follow my logic here. See where I'm going with this one. Do me a favor. If you're enjoying this, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And smash that notification bell. Thank you. You won't be sorry. All right, all right, I hear you. So what you all want to know, does Wi-Fi affect our fish? Well, it says here, thankfully, the fish will be unaffected. It's just not the water that blocks the Wi-Fi signal. Any liquid, including, get this, the one that's in our bodies, interferes with a signal. Standing too close to a Wi-Fi router can actually weaken the internet connection for everyone in the house. All right, between me, me and you, but just let's level with each other. So if our bodies and water um, interfere with the signal, does that mean we're absorbing the signal or it's not magically disappearing? You know, it's not wizardry. It's, it's to me, I think we're absorbing this signal, which we just read before was energy and radiation. But I digress. Let's go on. 
Well, okay. So even though you might be absorbing this radiation, we'll just, we'll pass from that one. Now, a fish tank, what they say is actually a double whammy. It causes bad Wi-Fi because not only do you have the electrical circuits that are powering the tank and, you know, the filters, the heaters, all that, but then there's that enormous body of water that, listen to this, is absorbing the signal being given out by the router. Okay, let's put those two and two together and see where we go from there. Now here, here's a quick look, just to take a break for a second from the subject. Here's my Fajaka Puffer. He's in here with two, uh, two Arctic Blue Parrots. There they go. There's also the rescued Jabe Gobi that people have been asking me about. He's about 95% right now. There is my Avocado Puffer, who's turning into quite the big boy. I think I'm going to suit him up, let him play offensive line for the Giants this year. But so far, I know this is not a community tank in the way that you're supposed to do a community tank. But everything has worked out fine for me so far. Knock on wood, it stays that way. I am keeping my eyes open for any type of aggression. But I think the sizes all match up pretty good. There's also a Pictus cat in here who just doesn't like to come out. I think he's wanted by the law. But this is one of my only community tanks. And this is actually a 55 gallon that I got with the filters, with the, with the lights, with the lid, everything included for $25. Dang, that's a deal. All right, let me get back on track. Let's get back to the subject. We're talking about Wi-Fi around your fish and Wi-Fi around you and the quality of the Wi-Fi in your house. I think that's why a lot of us with fish rooms and lots of water have a problem with our Wi-Fi signal sometimes because it blocks. No, it doesn't block. It's it absorbs. Now, as far as us and our fish go, I don't think it's something where like, you know, you're just gonna you're just gonna turn into dust. But I, I do have questions. Okay, you know me, you know Vinny. I do have questions because if we're mostly made of water, and fish are mostly made of water, and the water absorbs the energy, and the energy is EMF radiation, are we not absorbing that radiation? And look, hey. If that's going to happen, and I'm going to turn into the Incredible Hulk, like at the end of the videos, all right, maybe we're talking. But otherwise, I don't know. Makes me think. Things that make you go, hmm. What do you guys think? What's your opinion? Maybe somebody here is actually a scientist or knows a little something, because me, I'm just a guy on the internet. I'm just throwing thoughts out there. I want to know what you guys think. Please, leave a comment down below. Don't pull your punches. If you think I'm out of your mind or my mind, just let me know. If you agree with me, let me know. And if you actually have some scientific basis for this, let me know. Thank you guys for joining me. That's my little spiel on Wi-Fi and whether it harms your fish or not. They say it doesn't, but I don't know. Maybe a little bit over time because we are absorbing radiation. But the biggest thing is, I hope you guys learned it. The more water you have, the worse your Wi-Fi is going to be, especially if you have heaters in every tank and you have, say, HLBs or canisters on every tank. That's going to combine to give you a dead spot for your Wi-Fi. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you learned something. I hope you laughed. And I can't wait to see you next time on Vinny's Aquatics. Woo!